for more, let's cross to uh, Roland Marshall, a researcher at the French Political Science Institute, Sciences Po. Thanks for being with us here on France 24. Thanks for having me. So there you hear it from our correspondent, Olivia Bizot. Uh, talks in Jeddah, talks in Juba, talks in Addis Ababa, talks in Nairobi. Of course, for talks to work, you need both sides to want to talk. Yeah, I, I believe the, you know, we had done any uh, diplomatic move for, for the summer from June up to up to now. But it, it doesn't mean that uh, diplomats were uh, idle. I, I think uh, the, the American diplomats worked hard to get uh, these uh, meetings taking place at the same time, especially uh, Addis Abeba and Jeddah, uh, basically to, to send a message that uh, the ceasefire is necessary. It would involve uh, the regional uh, African organizations and uh, but then he should go into a political process uh, that is more or less uh, frame or in very early early stage in Addis Abeba so that that is the hope of the American diplomacy let us see what happened in the next uh, few days and, and weeks whether this hope uh, get uh, really on the ground the taking of Niala by Hemeti's forces is that shoring up a bargaining position, or does he think he's got a chance to win this uh, militarily? Well, we, we still have, uh, you know, it's really, it's a war uh, of uh, fake news, and, uh, you know, everyone has to be more confident than the other one. And so it's difficult to believe whether the two sides still believe they can win the war after six months of uh, destruction of the, the capital city, Darfur, and so on. But that's, that's a, it's a fact, uh, Roland, that uh, Niala has been overrun by the RSF. He, it's a, he has been taken back by the army. I think RSF is going to take it back again. Uh, so basically, what is new in that, you know, as you said, uh, the fact that there is heavy fight in Niala as well as in Khartoum, it just means that... Uh, Discussions are getting serious in Addis, in, uh, in uh, Jeddah. On the other side, what is new in Niala is that uh, the RSF troops were led by the brother of Emeti, Abdelrahim, and uh, that uh, he announced that uh, the taking over Niala was the first step towards setting up a government uh, in the area controlled by RSF. I think, again, it's a threat uh, that should a uh, message to Jeddah that uh, uh, RSF may feel strong enough to to do that. I think nobody in the international in the international community, as well uh, as a regional state, is willing to witness this because that we will go back to a situation very close to what Libya has become, and so no one uh, wants to move into that direction. But, uh, but again, what we have to see is uh, certainly uh, the, uh, what is crucial is actually what's going to be discussed in, Addis, in uh, Jeddah, sorry. Um, and, and, and again, it's, it's difficult to know what is happening in, in, in Jeddah itself because you have a lot of noise by the two sides on uh, what is going on, what, what is discussed. And, and actually, we don't have any confirmation at this stage that uh, they discuss what has been the main rumor over the last weeks, which means uh, a ceasefire that should last for weeks uh, or months, even six months period was uh, at one point discussed uh, with, an, with a monitoring force from the African states, uh, from the region, from the Horn of Africa. And then as well, uh, soon after that, um, the uh, uh, follow up that will uh, build uh, a, a government uh, for Sudan in which the civilians would have the upper hand. That seems far from likely at this point. Uh, it, it just, very, very far. Uh, let me ask you, Hemeti, who himself is from Darfur, how serious uh, are these uh, is the possibility that he'll try to have some kind of a breakaway region, perhaps even a breakaway republic? No, I, you know, uh, Darfur is, is completely uh, surrounded by uh, uh, countries that would not be very supportive of uh, Hemeti. So, no, I think Hemeti 
uh, is smart enough to understand that uh, if anything has to be taken over, it should be Khartoum or Port Sudan at this stage, but not not only Darfur. So, so the 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 the, the real conflict is, of course, national linked to uh, national power in Sudan. But what is happening in Darfur, besides all statements be, made by RSF leadership of South leadership, is uh, uh, and, uh, uh, something that gets much closer to a civil war, a very bloody civil war that could, to a certain extent, be uh, the the end of a conflict that started in, in the late uh, 1980s or in the early 2000s, as m maybe most people would remember, and, and, and uh, bringing a solution that will be based on the eradication of some parts of the population. So that's why peace ceasefire is necessary, not only in Khartoum, but in Darfur. And that's why uh, the uh, international diplomat should rush, because longer the time of negotiation, more uglier will be uh, the war in, in uh, Darfur and less controlled by SAF and RSF leaderships. Roland Marshall, many thanks for speaking with us. Thank you so much for having me.